Brace yourselves for this. Hello everybody, Berto Guy here, welcome back. Alright, so today we have a little bit of a different treat for all of you instead of World of Tanks. We're going to be playing the game Never Winter. Um, this is a Dungeon and Dragons MMORPG. Um, it's a pretty fun little game. I'm really, really stoked about it. So we're going to go through like uh, setting up your character and stuff like that today and uh, getting into town at least. Um, that is my goal. And then from that point on, well, I'll start doing uh, either episodes by myself or with my friends. Um, I have recorded episodes with my friends on different characters and stuff like this and blah 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 to get a feel for the game and see how it's going to go and how everybody's going to kind of like react to it and everything so um yeah so let's get started here uh, we get races to start off with so you got human half orc wood elf sun elf dwarf halfling half elf so it's human elf uh tefling so that's some kind of like demon and we got a drow which is a dark elf uh, if i'm not mistaken um, so what I was going to choose, I was going to choose a Tefling, uh, for the simple reason it gives me a, oh no, it was Charisma, oh, well then it would be the Drow that would give me a Dexterity bonus, but anyways, I, it doesn't really matter, I think I'm still going to go with this, um, that means, yeah, because I wanted her to be a, uh, yeah, <clears throat> Where is it there? You got a rogue. That's what I wanted her to be was a rogue. Um, even though she didn't get like a bonus to like dexterity or anything like that, it didn't really matter. So anyways, we have a rogue. We have a devoted cleric, so it's a healer. 
We have our wizard. Uh, we have our ranger. Uh, a warlock. Uh, and an oathbound paladin. We got a great weapon fighter. And a guardian fighter. So the difference between these two is this one is a shield bearer and this one is a two handed weapon bearer. So that's good for a tank. This one too is good for a tank. Your paladin is probably also another decent tank as well. Uh, and then these are pretty much all your range DPS. Uh, and then obviously you have a healer, right? So we're going to go with a rogue because I find a rogue is very handy just for the simple fact as it will detect many traps that are within the um, the whole game itself. So it's always good to have at least one rogue in your team anyways. So this is where we get to choose. Now, um, <laughs> it kind of sucks because this is kind of a, a base decision on... Um, on dexterity, you know, like a uh, rogue primary is dexterity, second is charisma. All right, so second is charisma and strength. Oh, all right. Well, you know what? In that case, I'll do it like that, and I'll just build up my dexterity through points within the game to kind of bring it up higher. All right, so that's that's the game. That's the way. Um, can I actually go reroll, reroll, reroll? See if I can get a higher. Alright, so we got a dexterity of 17. That's actually pretty good. I'll take that. Yeah, I will take that. Perfect. It's just me good. Alright, so the think the one I took the last time... Is her? Yeah, cause her hair was all fucked up. I didn't like that. <laughs> Alright, so we're good. We're good. Alright, so then you can go through it and you can come out customize like all kinds of crap. But I'm just going to leave her as is because I'm pretty satisfied with the way she looks, right? Uh, we're done. Now, these are the types of things that do not affect your gameplay whatsoever. They're just kind of like storyline basis things to give your character kind of like a, you know, a background, right? So, uh, feeds the world. Oh, these are your, your gods or whatever that you, okay. All right. Uh, that's your knowledge. Try to find one, see if one says anything about, um, I don't know, maybe uh, Goddess of Fortune, those who seek God of Luck, one experts. Uh, you know what, that sounds pretty good for a rogue, you know, a God of Luck. Um, Alright, so then we get to choose a place where you kind of start from. So me, because I'm kind of like a Baldur's Gate fan, um, I'm going to start from Baldur's Gate. And we'll go with a. Uh, we'll go with the the worldly swords bucklers, whatever. <laughs> All right, so I took a little pause there, and I went to go find some demonic female names, and the name that I found will be this. Um, This is the name, Prosperin. All right, the name Prosperin is also known as the Princess of Hell. She likes to assist Belial in amorous relationships. Uh, Prosperin is also referred to as Baal's mother. Ooh. All right, so that's kind of a creepy thing. All right, so if anybody knows anything about Hell and uh, and Diablo and all that kind of crap well then this should kind of like ring a bell a little bit all right so that's the name I'm going to choose and we're going to go with that so confirm all right so now this is our character we were able to re-roll and get a higher dexterity and all that good stuff so yeah now let's begin the adventure and we will take you right into there let's give her shit All right. So yeah, the beginning of this game is pretty cool. You start off on a boat. And, uh, this is what happens to your boat. So obviously the night dragon thing there pretty much all screwed up your boat. So that's yeah, that kind of sucks. 
All right, so now this is going to be like a little tutorial phase. They're going to kind of show you the basics of the gameplay and kind of what you're going to do here. And we're just going to kind of kind of go through this as fast as we can, all right? Thank the gods. When I saw the Dracolich attack the ship, I was afraid there would be no survivors. What brings you to Neverwinter in such troubled times? Sorry, didn't mean to pry. It's just now is not a good time to be traveling here. As you may have noticed, Neverwinter is under its Okay, so he pretty much says the same thing no matter what you take. Alright, so it's just more like a welcome to, you know, Neverwinter. Alright, so here, you're going to see every time you can interact with something, it's always going to be the A button. So, we're going to go and interact with that. We're going to get some kind of a tunic. And we picked up bl blunt dirt. And a rusted dagger. Alright, so... You can go like that, hit A to select, and it's automatically going to equip it in whatever, you know, if you're two-handed anyways, right? Uh, tracker displays current quest objectives. There you go. So our quest objective is just kind of get, like, you know, into town. That's what we're going. Well, to camp. Camp is, like, right up here, but this is, like, a, I guess... A, a coastal camp, if you want to call it. Rest zones where out of combat players may heal. There. So if I was injured, I'd be able to come here and I'd gain like health by standing in the circle. So that's kind of cool. Good to meet you. It's good to see someone survive the attack. Of that's right. Although we stopped Valindra's main force, the battle is far from over. Alright, so now this is like a combat training area. You're going to come in here and you're going to like train for, uh, you know, for people. You're going to train. You're going to fight. And you only have to hold the trigger. You don't have to uh, constantly mash it. So that's kind of a really good thing. Like the enemies at the beginning are pretty... Uh, are pretty easy to defeat. I'm gonna have to say, like, there's not much to them. So hopefully this guy didn't go and cure everybody, and he's just walking around trying to, you know. There we go. What the hell is that? There we go. So you get like these little side quest thingies too, and you gotta kind of like help everybody. Uh, sometimes it's like gathering stuff and you know all that kind of good stuff right but not all the quests are all uh, like pretty simple so you see this little glittering line it's always going to show you where you got to go to your next quest which is pretty good really i got no complaints with that it's instead of like trying to wander around all the time and trying to find where the hell you are so um you we do get to drive Valindra's forces thank you for aiding the wounded they wouldn't all right, I'm now we're gonna collect some broken some arrows. We've driven um, the main army off, but Red Wizard allies are still harassing us with summoned undead. Ah, oh, shut Private up! Private Hothedorn is trying to drive them off with his <laughs> archers, but they're short on ammo. Search the trigger to use Cloud of Steel to hurl a barrage of blades at your target. All right, that's pretty cool there. Eh? All right, so yeah, like I was gonna say, uh, this is like um, I don't even know what the hell I was gonna say anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's just too funny. All right, so yeah, this is kind of like just like a little training area for everybody to go to and uh, collect what they need to collect, right? Ah, uh, the bastard took all of them. How could you? How does he have all these arrows? He only needed to collect three. I'm sure he collected more than three, right? Anyways, doesn't matter. Whatever. It's all good. All right, I got all my arrows, and I can go put them in the. Uh, in this stupid little barrel so these archers can fire so every time you come near a point it's always going to kind of like you know uh... campfire it's always going to give you like a that's going to give you like your last respawn so that's always good to know um, yeah I remember Thank you for the because this is kind of like Neverwinter. just They're a little bit of like a, of a tutorial area. The sleeping dragon bridge. Oh, you're so annoying. If the bridge falls, they will enter the heart. There we go. <laughs> because this is just like a tutorial, there's really not much of a storyline to, you know, like really get involved with. So it's, I figure I'm just going to kind of like skip some of this stuff and kind of go with the flow, right? 
Yeah. You can go kill the guys. We don't need to. I don't have to. Anyway, you just gotta go up here and talk to this guy up here. Right? Uh, oh. You do actually kill, have to kill six of them. I didn't think you actually had to kill any. Oh, that's okay. That won't take me long. Oh, I've never seen this before. What's down here? Is there any... Any secrets? No. No secrets. Just an empty... An empty bridge. Alright. Uh, oh, she can really throw those knives, eh? Alright, so now we're good. Well, now we're good. We killed the six skeletons, and now we can go talk to this guy. This is the guy we met on the side of the water. Hello again. You're looking a good deal fiercer than when you washed up on the beach. Yes, we did. Told you drying out by the fire would do right. good. My mother always says, well, so, oops, a warm sorry. Heart. I hit my You've mic. Out the skeletons uh, enough that we should be able to slip through the gate safely. That's right. So now we got to go to the bridge. All right. Yeah, and he gives you healing potions to kind of like make it through this area. Um, you're probably not going to need too many of them, but whatever. It's all good, right? All right, so trouble. this is like um, the almost the end of the tutorial thing. There's like a small little mini boss at the end here, which is kind of cool. So it gives you a little taste of uh, how bosses are going to be in the game. Uh, dodging, I'm going to have to say, is like super important. Just because of the simple fact that, uh, oh, oh, it didn't hurt me that bad. But yeah, um, there we go. Uh, what the hell was I saying? <laughs> yeah, dodging. Uh, yeah, dodging is like super, super important. Um, you can find treasure chests and stuff like that. Yes, yes. We'll, we'll we'll get we'll get into all that kind of stuff later on that he's kind of like talking about there, you know all the um, the enchanting and identifying scrolls and all that good stuff, right? And we'll we'll, we'll cover all those bases through as I play, and we'll kind of you know, get you to know how to play the game as well as I do, right? Oh, that's my guy. I thought it was like trying to kill another undead zombie there. All right, so we're just giving her. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I really like the rogue. I, th I think it is like one of my main favorite characters. I do have a uh, hunter. That's my ranger in the other game that I'm playing. Uh, that one's also level 15. And yeah, so that one's coming along pretty good. I've been playing that one with magic, and I started playing my original rogue with uh, with firebug. Uh, mainly to like get him into the game and uh, all that good stuff. So I'm trying to get uh, more of my clan members from tanks uh, involved in this, and that way we can kind of like you know continue on with our you know with playing different games and stuff like that together and just get it get away from tanks. You know, it's, tanks is fun, but you know it gets a little repetitive, and sometimes you know you just get like really frustrated and you need like a little bit of a change of a game. And, this is kind of like a really good change of the So, alright. That daily power I'm going to save for the boss. And I'm going to show you why. Because it's uh, really, really awesome. <laughs> so worthwhile. Alright, so this is kind of like... She's the main big bitch that you're trying to, you know, go after. Right? That's Valinger there. And uh, that was pretty stupid, buddy. I'm going to have to say that was really dumb. See the look on your character's face, it's like, what the fuck? Alright, so in order to activate your daily powers, you're gonna have to uh, hold your left bumper and then hit X. Alright, so now. There we go, that was my daily power. Oh, so if you hit the trigger, you can. Uh, or hit the trigger. If you click your left thumb, something thumb stick <laughs> you can do this kind of like roll and uh, that's kind of like what you gotta do you just gotta stay out of the uh, zones where the enemy is gonna attack you and stuff because you obviously don't want to get hit by their attacks and the goal is to stay alive as long as possible right so that's yeah um, all right so this is gonna be the last conversation we're gonna have with this guy <laughs> sorry <laughs> and uh, he dies, obviously. I don't mean to, like, you know, spoil alert, but her. obviously, you know, he's he's you dead. Have to stop her. So there we go. That's Lord it. Never. 
Yeah, all right. So that is the uh, the intro to Neverwinter. Um, yeah, it's a it's a, it's a really fun game. Uh, it's it's a grindy game, obviously, but from what I was told, the level gaining isn't that painstaking. So as long as you're doing quests and you're going through it and you're doing your storyline and then you go and you do your dungeons and all that stuff, like you apparently your your levels go up relatively quick. So that's that's kind of good. So in the next episode. Um, we're going to, uh, go on with the story missions and stuff like that and, uh, try to, uh, get a little bit farther. Yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, give it a like down below and peace. We'll see you next time.